All right, John Oaks here with Hankster's Hot Rods here in our Homer City, Pennsylvania location. And today we are going to show you our latest addition to our inventory. And this is being a very nice 1971 Plymouth Cuda. Now, again, the 71, very popular year for these cars. One of the most sought after years uh, for this car. And this is a very nice example of one. As you can see, ours is done in the correct factory color this being the in violet since it was a Plymouth that's the color that they called it out as um, now our car here it's got the hood pins up front it's got the factory dual scoop hood on it also along with the CUDA 340 badges on either side of the hood there uh, again all of that does reflect what is underneath the hood on this car too which we'll get to that here in just a little bit now as far as all the bright work on this car this thing's in excellent condition uh, as far as the front and rear bumpers both chrome the chrome's in excellent shape you'll see that as we walk around once we get to the back and then again once around back to the front again um, as far as the fenders here you can see this one has the option for those air scoops in the front fenders uh, those are very nice looking on the car. Um, as we look down uh, at the wheels and tires even, these are factory steel rally wheels for the Mopar. Again, it's got the uh, beauty rings and center caps on it. BF Goodrich radial TA rubber wrapped around all four wheels on this car. They are 225-60-15s up front, 275-60-R15s on the back. And as you can see, the rake that it has with that, those wheels and tires on it looks really good for this particular car. Now, as far as body panel fitment and alignment on this car, we look at all of these cars. This one's really good, though, by the, as we see it here. You'll see the front gaps here on the, the door and the fender. And then as we look back towards the back side of the door and the rear quarter panel, all of that looks to be adjusted very, very well. Elevations, when you compare it to the fenders, and the quarter panels that door set in there very very nicely and just about perfect and you can see all of your body lines all line up as well it also has your bright work as far as your rocker moldings down below all very straight no waviness no dents no dings polished up really nice there also now up on both of our doors passenger and driver's side you've got the dual mirrors here both color coded for the car this was an option for this car uh, and the driver's side mirror is also a remote mirror, so you can adjust that from inside. Obviously, you can see this car has a vinyl top. It's the white vinyl top, and that is the correct color uh, from the factory for this top. The top itself is in excellent condition here. All of your stitching and, and all of your seams are in great shape. There's no uh, rips, tears, nothing at all. The top is super clean, as you can see here in the video. All of your bright work too, up around your drip rails here, those molding, those are in great shape. Of course, feeling in the rain gutter here, it's gonna be nice and smooth. Also down around the moldings here, around that back window, nice and smooth. You will not feel any bumps whatsoever underneath this. Um, the glass in the doors here and the quarters here, all of which are in great shape. You can see it's slightly tinted glass, no chips, cracks, or anything like that all in really good shape and all your moldings down those leading edges of those windows like your quarter window here straight polished up very nice there's no pitting at all on any of the bright work now we'll open up our door and we'll take a look inside now again first thing you're going to notice it's got the white interior here as far as the door panels those front high back bucket seats and the rear seat uh, again so many times you get a car with white interior and you just can't get it very clean this car hopefully you can tell from the video this interior is in great shape super bright inside super clean inside also uh, of course it's got the black carpeting no rips or tears there the factory dash in there as well factory gauges um, it does have uh, I believe an auto gauge fuel pressure gauge on it but I believe that is out underneath the hood so we'll take a look at that whenever we get there of course you can see the door sill plates those are all in great shape all of your weather stripping along where your window seals up against the seals along your quarter windows and your u jam or your u-shaped jam seals here these are all in great condition and you can see the paint both outside 
and even on the inside here of the car it's just in great condition you've got your decal in here that's got your um, the manufacture date basically and your VIN number here that's all intact and still on the car as well your wood grain three bar steering wheel and your factory center console in there with the wood inlays and then of course it's got the slapstick automatic shifter in there as well um, now the radio that's in this car we'll close this up um, it's more of a modern radio it has the look of the original stereo um, but it is modern it's more digital um, there is an amp in the back here we'll take a look at when we open the trunk and so forth uh, but again it is a more modern radio so uh, quarter panels all the panels in the car as you look down the side of it super straight the whole way down the side again this paint the whole way around just as nice as you can expect I mean this purple is a very nice color um, and again the fitment and finish of all the panels just can't really get much better than what you have right here now when we look up uh, up here at the uh, rear window here uh, I'm going to say your rear glass here very nice again no chips no cracks no scratches that I can see um, all of your uh, bright molding around the window is in great shape as I look down in here at your package tray on the interior this is a factory rear defrost car so it does have the vent back there so that's a nice feature nice option for this car as well now as far as your tail panel you can see that's all blacked out of course you've got the CUDA badging back here as well nice chrome rear bumper We've got the little bumperettes here and then if you look down below at your rear lower balance you can see that dual exhaust uh, we'll go over that with the underside video the dual exhaust pokes right through that rear lower balance with those correct style of those uh, box style exhaust tips down there again a super nice look for these cars your trunk lid all your gaps and elevations with the quarters here and the, the uh, panel right behind, right, right underneath the rear window, all of that is adjusted very, very nice. Now we'll go ahead and open up our trunk. Um, let me just do that here. And uh, so first off, you see the key does work in the trunk lock. The latch and everything works, hinges and spring all functioning as they should. You can see the underside of this trunk lid here. Same color as the rest of the car, the in violet, uh, that exterior color there. Again, the rubber bumpers down here so that when you do close it, it stays closed nice and snug fit. All your weather stripping here is in great condition. Meets right together in the center here. No rips or tears whatsoever in that weather stripping, so it's going to seal up very, very nice. You've even got uh, like your original jack instructions here also. Uh, speaking of which, down here, uh, tucked up in this rear quarter panel, you've got the bumper jack and the wheel lug wrench here also. That's all in there. Of course, your trunk inside, all purple as well. Nice trunk mat in here. And it's got a set of rear floor mats there. If you wish to use those, you can. We elect to kind of leave them out for filming purposes just to show the condition of the carpeting on the interior of the car and as you can see here you've got complete uh, spare tire back here this is your space saver spare tire it's even got the bottle to inflate it and so forth so again that is in there so the car is just complete it really is so let's close this up again you can see the trunk shuts latches closed really nice there we'll come around the passenger side and again all your panels the whole way down the side of this car super straight again as i said that paint just as nice as can be on the passenger side nice and smooth on the vinyl top around all of those trim pieces and molding your drip rail moldings here very nice too the rain gutter on this side nice and smooth you can see the condition of that vinyl top here also as i said before all your seams and stitching and so forth all very nice no rips tears no bubbles underneath it pulled nice and tight looks excellent on this car glass on the passenger side same thing no chips no cracks no scratches all your molding on the leading edge here of your quarter window that's in great shape again that matching mirror there on the passenger side as well door gaps you can see the back side there as well as the front side very uniform front to back elevation same thing dead on all body lines in alignment uh, and then again you're molding down the rocker panel here as well in great shape we'll open our door from this side 
That way you get to see the interior complete from both sides. Again, you're just going to notice that on your seat upholstery, there's no rips or tears. Again, that white interior that is so hard to keep white. This stuff is super white for an, old, for an interior in this car. Again, your carpeting, there's no rips, tears, no fading. Your center console's in great shape. Your factory dash also in great condition too. Again, dash has the uh, Barracuda logo and emblem in there. And I believe your door panels also have the CUDA badging on them as well. Uh, now this car does have full set of seat belts in it too. So your front seats got retractable belts. Your back seats got all the seat belts back there. So as far as if you're concerned about safety and having seat belts, don't have to worry about this car. It is fully equipped with belts. We come around now the rest of the way. Again, you're matching uh, air vents there in the front fender. We've already talked about the uh, wheels and tires on the car, and that brings us around to the front. So as you can see, this is just your typical front end for a 71 Cuda. The front bumper's in excellent condition. That chrome, very nice and shiny. There's no pitting whatsoever on it. As you can see, we've mentioned those hood pins to start off with. That was an option on this car, so, and they are functional too, not just for looks, but functional. You've got, again, the factory steel dual scoop hood here. Uh, you can see your gaps, your elevations, all the fitment of this hood looks really good for this car. We come back here and look at the windshield. That's in great shape too, no chips or cracks in that windshield. And again, the wipers are in good shape too on the car. You always want to, you know, make sure some of those safety features are, you know, important. Make sure that they are all good. Now, as far as the grill area here is concerned, this would be your factory grill. Uh, all intact. There's no pieces broke or cracked or anything. All in very nice condition. Of course, you can see you've got your quad lights here. You've got your low beams. You've got your high beams. All of which are glass lens sealed beam units. All of the lenses, no cracks, no chips out of any of them. And then down below here, you've got your directionals down below here. Those are all in great shape too. There's no cracks or chips or anything in any of the lenses for those. Um, now that we've been through all of the car, we're gonna go ahead and go underneath the hood here and talk about you know the motor and a little bit of the drive line here before we get it up in the air on our lift. So let's go ahead and open this up further for us. Okay, so the hood latch itself works. Uh, as you can see, the hood hinges and the springs all work. Looking inside the engine compartment, it is done correct according to what Mopar did back in the day. You kept the same color with, the, uh, with your engine compartment here, even the cowl. So again, all of this is all of the in violet color. Uh, and then we get to the engine, so let's discuss that. We've got a 340 Mopar engine, and this is numbers matching 340 cubic inch Mopar. Um, it is in excellent shape, as you can see underneath here. Factory air cleaner with all the factory decals, or the pie tin as they call it, right in the center. All in excellent condition. You've got the factory intake on it, valve covers all painted, the stock exhaust manifolds. Um, we'll just kind of talk around the motor, then I'm going to come back to something that's very special on this car. Factory style radiator with the plastic shroud. You've got a, looks like a five blade clutch fan underneath there. All of factory air conditioning components on this vehicle as well and in working condition. Power brakes right here, and those are disc brakes up front, drums in the rear. Power steering car as well. Uh, now the ignition system on this. Uh, this is where kind of some of the upgrades uh, start happening. They have upgraded that to an MSD Pro Billet Distributor. MSD Superconductor Wires. These are 8.5 millimeter plug wires. That's going to help deliver a lot better spark to it in combination with the MSD Blaster 2 coil that this car has on it as well. So you've got the, uh, the spark aspect of the ignition. Now the special part of this is it has a Holley Sniper electronic fuel injection kit on it. So underneath this air cleaner, it's no longer carbureted. It's got the Sniper kit on it. It's adjusted properly and this thing runs great. So behind this Numbers Match 340 motor, we've got the Torque Flight 727 automatic transmission. 
super good transmission for these Mopar cars. And then back beyond that, as far as the rear end, it's a Mopar eight and three quarter inch rear end. It does have the shore grip posi unit in it, along with a, uh, I think that was a 373 gear, I'm thinking. Uh, but the number will be in the description. If I'm off just a hair, go by the description because it's going to be accurate. Um, other than that, uh, things to point out, it does still retain the uh, fender tag on it. So you can go through and check out all your codes and all the options for it. Um, all your hoses and so forth, all dry, all connections are good. Um, so that's pretty much it as far as the exterior of the car goes, the interior, the trunk, under the hood. Now, we're going to get this up on our lift, and again, there's a lot that we're going to go through with you under here. Um, there's been a, you know, a good amount of money spent on this car on the underside uh, from the previous owner. Uh, as far as the suspension goes, a lot of the upgraded uh, Hotchkiss type suspension stuff, um, shocks, frame connectors, control arms, you name it. We're going to go ahead and show you that stuff next. So now that we're underneath our 71 Plymouth Cuda here, we're going to go through everything just as we normally do. I've uh, got actually a lot to go over with this car as we go over all the suspension components mainly, some of the frame and so forth like that. But we're going to go through it front to back, let you know exactly what we have underneath this 71 Cuda. So starting at the front, we're going to just start with uh, basically our frame. So our, our K uh, member up front here, this is what basically all your suspension is hung off of on one of these Mopars. This thing is in great shape, nice and straight, never looks like it was ever hit off of anything. Now off of this K member, again, like I said, all your suspension, so that's what we have to go over next. And there's a lot here. All, pretty much all Hotchkiss suspension components here on this car. So you know it's good quality stuff. So we're gonna start up near the top here and it's got the adjustable tubular Hotchkiss upper control arms on the car. Very nice piece to look at up from underneath here. Then as far as the shocks go up front, now these are basically both front and rear. We've got Hotchkiss tuned Fox shocks. And these are the street performance package shocks on this car. So again, Fox shocks, you're not going to find shocks that are any better than those. These things are great. They're going to handle awesome, dampen your bumps for you. Um, they're just going to be a great performing shock on this car. Um, it's got the Hotchkiss adjustable tie rods on it. It's got the Hotchkiss, uh, this is a heavy duty front sway bar on this car. And of course, with it being Hotchkiss, it looks like everything's fairly new on this car. Your bushings at the frame here, those are in great shape. The sway bar end links on both sides, those are in awesome condition too. Um, in co combination with that sway bar, you also have, with most of your Mopars, you're going to have that strut rod front suspension. And those are Hotchkiss adjustable strut rods, as well as the Hotchkiss torsion bars. As we know with Mopar cars, that's the way the front suspension is set up on most of them. So again, all quality products here on the front end of this car. While I'm talking about suspension, I might as well go to the back of the car here next. Um, go over that stuff then. So not only do you have, obviously, your multi-leaf rear suspension, but you also have, again, more Hotchkiss stuff back here. You've got the Hotchkiss rear sway bar here. And again, with all of this being new, you know that the bushings and end links and so forth, those are all in great shape. And again, as I had already mentioned, those Fox shocks on the back, Hotchkiss tuned street performance package, rear shocks on the car. Uh, again, it just makes the whole underside of this car look really good and you know it's going to perform and handle very good as well. Let's go ahead and go with our drive line next. Um, so we'll start with the engine here. We do have, this is the original numbers matching 340 cubic inch Mopar engine. Uh, behind that, we've got the Torque Flight 727 automatic transmission. Now that does have the plate on the front, the cover on the front, uh, your dirt and debris cover, so nothing gets in there and causes any teeth to be chipped or cracked off of that flywheel. That's good insurance uh, to have underneath your car. Now as far as the um, transmission pan and the oil pan on the motor, as I look at everything underneath here, this is all dry, free from any leaks or drips on this car. 
As far as the transmission cross member itself, that again is in excellent condition. Uh, looks to be the factory cross member for it. The mount for the tail shaft of the transmission, that is all in great shape too. Also at the back of the transmission, the seal, your output shaft seal there where your slip yoke slides into, that is nice and dry the whole way around that. And then we come back, of course, drive shaft and it's gonna be balanced so that eliminates a lot of your um, you know, drive line vibrations and so forth. We get back to the rear end. Now this is a Mopar eight and three quarter inch rear end. Uh, it does have the shore grip posi unit in it and it's a 373 gear ratio. So again, a good gear for performance and all out just kind of cruising also if you want to. It's not too high of a gear that's gonna over rev or anything out on the streets. As far as the steering on this car, now this car does have power steering. It also has power brakes. It's got disc brakes on the front, drum brakes out on the rear, and it does have the emergency brake all hooked up on it. All the cables are present, hooked up, and functional. As far as the exhaust system goes, now it starts here at your motor, obviously. It's got your set of cast exhaust manifolds here. Obviously you see the dual exhaust as it comes all the way back. A set of MagnaFlow turbo style mufflers back here. Again, that's gonna give it a nice tone. And then of course it's got the tailpipes here that go up over top of the rear end. And then those actually shoot out through the rear lower valance with a set of nice box tips um, just like these cars should have had on them. That's exactly the look and the type of exhaust tip that's on it. And the gas tank that's on it. This is a newer gas tank. And the gas tank is in great shape, nice and shiny underneath here. You've got the straps and all your mounting hardware. All of that is in good shape. Uh, wheels and tires. Uh, we've got 15 inch factory steel Mopar rally wheels, complete with the beauty rings and the center caps. Uh, and then for tires, BF Goodrich Radial TA tires. You can't go wrong with those. Very popular uh, tire and a good performing tire also on these cars. Up front, we've got 225 60 R15s. On the back, we've got 275 60 R15s just to give it the nice stance that it has. Uh, obviously, you've seen that when we've done our walk around video on the car. Uh, and then for the frame and the floors. Um, the floors themselves are in excellent shape. I don't see any patching, no holes obviously. Um, what you see underneath here as far as undercoating is probably the factory undercoating. All of the drain plugs, the little rubber plugs and so forth that should be in this are in it. All of your brake lines and fuel lines are all run along the, uh, like the pinch welds and so forth, are right along the bottom of the, the floors here very nicely. Um, the other thing is about this frame, they've gone ahead and added those Hotchkiss subframe connectors in here too. Now of course, the brackets for them are welded. The actual uh, connectors themselves are all bolted though. So the only thing welded in is gonna be the brackets for them. But again, that's gonna give this car a lot more stability, uh, a lot more strength through the center of the car. Just gonna help the overall handling package of this car. And again, why not? Since you spent all the money on the Hotchkiss stuff that this car does, you wanna make sure you go all the way with it, complete the underside of the car so it can be as good a handling vehicle as possible. Um, and that's pretty much it for underneath our 71 CUDA. Again, the 71, very popular year for these cars. And we've got a nice one here with our inviolate car. So um, we'll go ahead and get this down off the lift. We're going to go underneath the hood next. We'll fire that numbers matching 340 motor up.